Sebastian Mel Martinez, MMA Nut, here with beautiful Che Mills, who faces Leroy Barnes at Cage Warrior 68 here in Liverpool tomorrow. So, Che, you're, uh, you're fighting again in Cage Warriors. You're facing a pretty tough opponent in Leroy Barnes. How do you feel about what's going to go down tomorrow night? Um, you know, it's a fight, so, you know, it's, you can't predict anything. Anything can happen in the fight. But obviously, you know, I've trained hard and I'm coming to win, so that's the end of the story. Good way of putting it. Now, you come from a bit of a striking background. Uh, you've also got uh, a bit of a reach advantage over him. Do you think that's going to play a, a bit of a part in the fight? Um, again, you do. You never know. Obviously, you know, I'd like to use it to my advantage. But like I said, it's a fight. So, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for anything. You know, any, anywhere it goes, wherever it goes, I'm, I'm ready. Now, your past two or three fights, I believe, have been, uh, been at middleweight. You've previously competed a lot at welterweight. What prompted the move in weight classes? Um, it was just getting too hard. Um, yeah, I mean, for my frame, um, I find it's affecting my performance, even though I might be able to, to get there and make the weight, but by the time fight come, I just totally drained. So, you know, it was, it was a no-brainer, really, just to move up to middleweight. I'll be honest, do you have a sweet tooth? I do, yeah. That also makes it extra hard? Um, um, it, no, I am disciplined, but I did, you know, in my off time, I do like sweet things, yeah. Now, uh, you made, you made quite, a, quite a splash in the UFC as well when you were fighting there. Uh, you were cut after a bit of a controversial loss against Matt Riddle, where it was actually not even a loss, it was changed to no contest. How do you, I think a lot of people were critical of that decision, that it wasn't a loss. Uh, how do you feel about that? Um, to me, it's, you know, it's water under the bridge. Um, it's done. You know, I had two choices. I could either let it eat away at me and be bitter, or you know, accept it for what it is and just carry on with my career. And obviously I chose to carry on with my career. Uh, it's become a bit of a hot topic in MMA as right now. Fighters testing positive for marijuana. Uh, it's a bit con it seems that p opinions are all over the place. Some people think it's no point in testing for it. Some people think it should be even harder, uh, stricter rules for it. How do you feel about it? Um, to be honest, um, you know, I don't take it, so I don't know. <laughs> um, but um, again, I, I, I don't know like if it's positive on the fighter or negative or what it does. All I know is that as far as I'm concerned, if it's in the rules that you're not allowed to take it, then you shouldn't take it. So, you know, from that point of view, then just, just stay away from it, really. And tomorrow night, facing a tough guy, Lero Barnes, how do you match up your skills against his? Is there any area where you think you might have an advantage? No. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, I'm not overlooking him or I don't disrespect him at all, but I just think that I'm better at everything than he is, basically. So. And ideally, how do you see this fight going? Um, with me winning inside the distance. Um, again, I don't make pred predictions, but you know, I've just got a strong feeling inside me that I'm going to win. Well, I think fans are looking forward to seeing the middleweight contest between Che Mills and Leroy Barnes, which goes down here in Liverpool for Cage Warriors 6-8 tomorrow night. Thank you very much and good Thank luck. You. No problem.